if you've been here before, I would say it's a totally different experience than what you've seen. Of course, we're still featuring Bobby Orr and his personal collection of artifacts and memorabilia, but we've expanded the focus to look at Perry Sound, the region as a whole, Georgian Bay. What is it about this particular part of Ontario that has produced so many great athletes? One of the greatest things that I've seen since we've done the redevelopment is that I was upstairs one day when we were taking our tour, our final tour with our committee, and there was a young boy down here with the Stanley Cup, now it's a replica of course, but the, he was down there, his hands were in the air cheering like he wanted himself. So that is one of the best things that I've seen about the redevelopment of the Hall of Fame. I was approached by the Lord Cultural Industries and Caitlin, who was in charge of the design, redesign of the Bobby Orr Hall of Fame to exhibit one of my images that I took a few years ago of people playing uh, hockey on the ice. It's culturally appropriate for Perry Sound. I think it it really captures the essence of what it would have been like for Bobby Orr growing up in Perry Sound when the ice would freeze really hard every winter and tons of people were out as youths playing on the ice around town. Um, and I think it just it captures that. We also wanted to make sure when we were telling this new story that we talked about the Perry Sound region, specifically our Anishinaabe neighbors at Wasaxing First Nation and the seven surrounding uh, communities. So what we've done is kind of look at sport as, um, or look at values that sport gives us. And so there's a whole uh, segment on values in the upstairs section of the museum. We've also taken a look at two Anishinaabe value systems, the seventh generation principle and the seven grandfather teachings. There is a little bit more to come. We've been very fortunate to partner with Wasoxing First Nation on um, some funding through Heritage Canada to do a, an audio exhibit on the seven grandfather teachings and seventh generation principles. So we're still working on that content, but we're very excited and fortunate um, to be working in partnership with them on that. Today is a, an amazing day because it's 20 years since we opened the uh, Stocky Center and uh, the Bobby Orr Hall of Fame. So, uh, you know, the Bobby Orr Hall of Fame has gone under a, a rejuvenation and uh, an update, which is, um, you know, a lot has a, a lot of work has gone into it. So, you know, and I really have to thank all those that contributed and put their efforts into uh, updating the display, and certainly uh, congratulate the fact that this place has been open and operating for 20 years. It's a world-class facility. Performers are always commenting on how incredible this theatre is. They love to play the space, um, and we're very fortunate to have it in the Perry Sound community. There's uh, three levels, kind of a main level, the mezzanine, and a balcony. I would say there's no bad seat in this house. <laughs> and in the summer months, we like to take advantage of our Bayside patio facing the sunset on Georgian Bay. We do a series of Bands on the Bay concerts. Those are free on Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. Um, through the summer. So that's a very exciting way that we get to take advantage of our gorgeous location.